On mine? No, on mine. Okay, everybody, so I know it has been a couple of days since we last had a meeting, hasn't it? Um, yesterday I was planning on having a meeting on July 26th, but I was just feeling a little bit too busy, um, a little bit too um, preoccupied with things, a little bit um, low energy, and I thought that it would be a good um, you, you know, opportunity, um, you know, a good chunk of time of yesterday that um that you and me could get a little time to get comfortable and settle in and just kind of veg out a little bit 
um, and um, not have to have any obligations for coming here um, um, you know, and being part of these um, meetings. Um, so I thought that it would allow you a little bit of just free time yesterday um, just as a break from your corny experience that you've already probably had a break. Um, now, I will tell you that um, for those who participated in um, Biology Clubis, um, for those who um, you know are part of that, the very, very first meeting was yesterday, okay? Um, all of you who were in that meeting should have um, printed books. Um, all of the other Minton students who um, wanted to be um, wanted to have a printed book, I still have to make the clones for those people, and I will give them the book. Um, yesterday in the meeting, you should have logged into Pearson, and also. Um, uh, also, my um, bio club is paid, and I really, really hope that those people have done the scavenger hunt um, for the biology um, online textbook, because today we're going to officially be delving into our very, very first topic. Um, we're going to get into ecology today. We're going to be talking about the um, um, the global systems and the level um, on the levels of ecological organization today. Okay, um, so that's really the plan for those who want to be part of Biology Clubus and for those who are already taking it at Kind Look Academy. Way back in December, I. Um, I, um, you, you know, I gave a little uh, pace and guide, um, a little uh, outline of all the courses and credits we off, um, offer with the Academy over there, the science ones, the history ones, um, and also the, um, the English. Um, I had originally planned to teach those classes, but uh, I was busy with the cementin. Um, so, they already got teachers and positions for those things, so because I'm interested and because those people who did not get in, that they find that themselves right now, they're feeling interested and they want to learn about biology, um, where they feel that they need to whatever the least might be, then they can come to this clubus. Okay? Um... So that's really, um, and that's really all I um, have to say about that, okay? Um, it's going to be a really, really exciting day, and I know that yesterday was a little bit exhausting going to the schooling room and then coming to me, you know, to learn the orientation uh, and the introduction to um, all the biology things. Because we are using the same textbook that they're using for the regular biology class. Um, but I just did not want to have to go through that introduction information to what is science, you know, characteristics of living things, um, branches of biology, the chemistry of life, such as things like matter, properties of water. Uh, enzymes, chemical reactions, and carbon compounds. If this was a real class, then I, I would probably get into that stuff and um, really take it more seriously, but it's about the content and it's about um, you know, the actual fun and enjoyment uh, and experience and interest and learning in it. Um, and remember, it's clubist, so it's a voluntary thing. We're going to do really, really fun activities, um, um, really, you know, light-filled things. But there is that class element to that. And every day will, you know, for those of you who are in there, I have to, um, you know, give a lecture about the content um, that we're talking about that I will be filming. If we're doing any sort of lab or uh, experiment or taking a, um, like a test or quiz, well, w did I tell you that we're not going to have any in a clubus? So 
I apologize for saying that because that wasn't true. You know, I say things that I contradict what I say. And that happens to everybody. Um, but if we're doing any light-filled activity or any lab or anything um, along those lines, then I will not be really filming the process of it. Um, we'll see. Uh, but for this first topic, ecology, we're not going to really have a whole lot of um, uh, labs and those kind of things because it's, you know, it's not like chemistry. It's not like cells and uh, genetics. Now, I have, um, that is one of the announcements down the drain. Um, okay. So, all of you in that clubus, you should have made the decision yesterday and you were part of that meeting. For those of you who still want to be part of that and participate, then the cart is still open for you to join the clubus. Okay, this is the very, very last opportunity. You have to make a decision today and right now if you want to be part of that. Now what's going to happen is for those who make the decision, I'm going to get you caught up to where everybody else is. You're going to sign in, and I have the sign in information on my page on the backboard. You're going to sign into Pearson Real Life, and then you're going to do uh, the scavenger hunt. That's really um, uh, all we really did yesterday. Um, and I was planning on watching a video on the biology trailer, but that's when I found out that, that, you know, time ran out and there was a, um, a bus waiting out there. So, that's how it is. Okay, so, uh, for those of you, please make the decision. Now we never, you know, and then I will help you on, um, you, know, you know, getting things set up and everything, and then you'll do the scavenger hunt. So, uh, I know that we're starting this Leo season a little bit later. Um, that's because at the very, very start of it, we were at Corning. Okay, we're going to start it um, a little bit later this year. Okay, we're going to be starting it officially today. And I'm going to go over all the plans that I have for that. Um... We're going to be watching a lot of videos today. We're going to be watching um, um, two hor one horoscope, actually. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing. I did tell you that with Deborah Silverman, you need to watch her horoscopes on your own. Now, I did send an email out to you yesterday um, with the link to the horoscope. For July 25th, 26th. Did everybody watch that? Sun and Leo, Moon and Libra. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. Because sometimes you need to um, initiate if I may forget. You know, it's like when we were recording, I didn't, you know, have the tools, um, you know, to show you the, um, um, you know, the horoscope because I couldn't set it up on any TV. And I prefer to do them the very, very first day of, you know, when the moon or the planets are in, you know, a certain, you know, sign or placement or something. Um, but that is going to be something that you all need to remember. That is going to turn into uh, your responsibility if I have so much planned and, um, or I forget, or there's a lot going on, or, you know, when you work corning, you need to, um, I really, really want you to have a goal at keeping up with watching those horoscopes, okay, and today is going to be a really, really special horoscope, um, when the sun's in Leo and the moon in Scorpio, and I want someone in this room besides Zach, Callison, to tell me why that horoscope is so important. Exactly. Yes, the sun and the moon are flipped. Just like if you're, um, um, like, it's, like, October, uh, or late September, um, and you watch the horoscope, sun and Libra, moon in Aries. 
my half birthday is October the 6th, so we're going to celebrate our half birthdays. And um, your half birthday was in April. Remember, half birthday is, um, you know, when people say that this kid is six and a half, well, that's when you get to um, the opposite day of when you were born of that year. And then that's your half birthday. So my real birthday, April 6th, half birthday, October the 6th. Sun and Libra, Moon in Aries. Okay? It, um, you know, it's also when the Sun and Moon are flipped around. Okay? Um, so, um, well, not necessarily, not necessarily. It's doing your opposite sign, but you know I, that's probably not what I'm getting into. The sun and the moon are flipped with that callison, so I will come to terms about this, and I will say that, um, as you know, um, that callison sun is in Scorpio, moon is in Leo. Okay, as you should all know. Today, the sun's in Leo, moon in Scorpio. Um, and I was reading something really, really interesting about the astrological cycle. There was something called a, um, a decan or a decan. And that's a particular set of days broken down into three parts of an astrological season. So I was born in the second decan of my season. Um... You know, when there's most, um, you know, probably always flavor of it. Um, but so anyway, um, we're going to be watching that horoscope today, okay? Um, I'm going to get to that at the end of all the, um, you know, the other things. Uh, we're going to be watching Sun and Leo, Moon and Scorpio. Then, I want to talk to you about a personal story uh, that happened to me a couple of days that I was just feeling really, really angered by, very disappointed in, very um, appalled at someone's really nasty, um, vulgar, and really shameful, just unpleasant, inappropriate, disrespectful behavior. You know me with adjectives. Um, so, um, we're going to be watching a video, um, from her Signs Under Pressure series, Deborah Silverman's Signs Under Pressure series. How many of you have seen those videos in that playlist, Signs Under Pressure by Deborah Silverman? Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's great to know. How many of you have seen all of the signs, all of her videos on that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so none of you. Okay. Well, how many of you have at least seen your sun sign? Okay. Okay, that was way too obvious. Um, sun, moon, and ascendant, or just sun and moon. People. I don't want to... Okay, this is... I... I get it. Okay, so... Yeah, so before I just just have people raise their hand at all sorts of different things, um, I just want to tell you that I want you to go in and I want, I want you to uh, go in, probably watch all of those, or maybe watch your dominant sign or your sun, moon, and ascendant. Your dominant sign is the sign in your chart that appears most. So, I believe that my dominant sign is Gemini, um, and, uh, and let's see, so dominant sign, sun, moon, and ascendant, remember the ascendant is your soul, you know, where the sun was on the eastern horizon, where you were born. So, it's ascending, it's going up, it's ascending, it's rising, ascending means rising. You know, the sun rises east in the sky in the morning, which is right now. Well, technically it's after the point, but uh, anyway, so welcome to Leo season. So I want to go over 
all these announcements. Now, um, you know, actually, um, let me go back to what I was saying about signs under pressure, Leo. Now, this is going to get into, because it's Leo season, and because I always think of, um, well, not always, but the indominant month is where we talk about the introduction. The dominant month is where we really get into it. The indominant month is the low woes or the negatives or the early um, degree Leos. And then the, uh, you know, in August is more, the more um, evolved and high road Aquarian uh, version of the sign Leo. So I think it's a good time to start out with the uh, you know, the negatives and the low roads, and, you know, what are those low roads, recognizing, and then finding the medicine to prove them high. You know the golden rule of the Amenten, and this is my biggest pet peeve, you know, I, I will not accept positives and then negatives. I will also not accept negatives and even more negatives, either negatives or positives, or positives, and even more positives. That's the golden rule of the Amentin. Me and all the other Amentin leaders have the same philosophy on that, and I think that you all need to stand by it. Okay? So, we're going to look at the low roads of Leo, because if you didn't know, um, if you didn't know, um, this is um, what that is going to be involving. So, signs under pressure, Leo under stress. Um, uh, if you didn't know um, who my family is, because that's why we do these corny things, because I say that, because I really don't feel like I need to get into personal business uh, with this mention, um, but I will say that Corning means my house that um, some of my family live, that I go to visit them while you're in another building. And um, and so as you prob some of you probably know that my, um, uh, my dad uh, is a Leo son, and I'm going to be talking about the flavor of that, this whole entire astrological season. Um, and we're going to be talking about the low roads of Leo today, and what Leo is like, you know, pluto and destructive, um, when Leo uh, gets mad or anxious, um, because it's really going to tie into the personal story that I'm going to be talking to you, and I need to grab something so that I can be able to talk. All right. Okay, now. Um, <coughs> okay. Now, as I was saying, as I was saying, it's going to tie into the personal story. I want to talk about this to the whole of Minton when the time comes. Because when I came back from Corning, as I said, I was feeling very, very annoyed, very frustrated, very angry, disappointed, uh, offended, and appalled. And I was feeling mentally and emotionally drained from the experience. Um, and that's probably part of the reason why when you got back, I just let you unpack and settle in. Um, 
you know, so that I needed time to kind of, you know, wind down and um, have space um, so that I would not need to give a meeting that day. You know, we came home on the later side. So, um, and that was also the day that Zach um, left uh, for home. Um, for a couple of days, and you're back now, so nice to see you again. Wonderful. Um, so, um, let's see here. So I'm going to get into all of that information later on, okay? I'm going to talk about Leo Concert. There will be a concert. Now, I know it's going to appear like I have a lot of plans for this astrological season, but, um, really, I don't, because I don't have any in my natal chart, although my mentioned person does have Leo in his chart. I don't. So, I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot, but there is going to be a couple of things that may appear like a big deal, but there will going to be kind of a small deal, in addition to, um, you know, other things, other big things. So... There will be a Leo concert, um, and a Leo concert, um, that is going to be featuring music from the movie that I'm sure that, you know, maybe a lot of you have seen, The Lion King. And can you figure out why we're going to be watching The Lion King on August, uh, August the 1st? Can any of you, um, you, you any of you know why? Yes. Exactly. Leo is the lion. Leo is represented by the lion, the king of the jungle. You know, Leo is bold, bright, exuberant, wants to show himself up in the world, um, very, um, um, just very, um, just, just lights up room kind of quality and, um, gets the attention and, um, is the real spotlight that everybody, um, pays attention to, um, and, um, we're going to be talking about that, um, more as we go, and you're going to be discovering, particularly for those who are in Leo Clevis, those meetings will not be filmed, we've already talked, um, uh, um we already went through a good, half of the introduction already, of which, um, Zach has read. I started reading and then you took over because you have more Leo than I have, which is none, uh, any will. Um, so I'm going to kind of let you take the kind of center stage on that and I will just, you know, insert a few things here in the R. Um, but so, let me see here. So, um, yeah. Um, Leo Clevis, remember, introduction in dominant months. Main category is dominant month of the sign. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, also, you're learning about all of that, you know, if you're joining Leo Clevis. I was going to say, we're not going to film those meetings because I have the book and all of you who are members have the book on Kindles. I have it on the phone that I'm recording off of right now. And if I try to record um, at the same time of having this going and then having to go to another site to be able to find the book and read it, then the recording would just stop. And I couldn't, you know, have it going while I had the other thing on, on my phone. So that's why they will not be because it's impossible to do that um, unless I want to waste up the memory of somebody else's phone then well, I don't want to have to do that so those meetings will not be filmed okay um, uh, they will um, you know just be kind of just regular meetings okay and then um, you know you'll be you know just just kind of the you know, kind of the leading role of the meeting, I'll kind of be, you know, running it, you know, guiding it, running it first, but you'll be the, you know, really person to, you know, teach it kind of thing. 
Yeah, exactly. Kind of like a co teacher type deal will, you know, that teacher takes over. Kind of thing. Um, so, come Virgo season, come when it gets to mid to late August, things will pick back up again. And we will really get into um, Virgo with maybe there'll be like a project called, um, um, you know, it's like uh, there might be a project where you might have to figure out something that you just want to get right in life that you, you know, a person that you want to help, you know, you know, detailed analyzing caregiver, you know, the will flavor Virgo because I have Jupiter. And that sign, if you didn't know. Um, so when it will get into Virgo, and I had best friend who was a Virgo son, um, born on I believe August 29th. That was the day after Lavimbi Talia talk, or uh, Mrs. Uh, Sanchez, Moe Sanchez. She was born on the 28th, um, and um, her daughter. Alicia, I, you know, I know her birthday, which is uh, December the 7th, so she is uh, a Sagittarian, um, so they're both mutable, so, um, that's really, um, that's really all that I have to say about that, I believe, um, yeah, so I want to get into the Leo construct. I have composed a song, Welcome to Leo Season, okay, um, you know, that's kind of the title of the song. We're also going to be watching The Lion King, as I said, because, you know, Leo is the lion. We're also going to be stealing uh, songs from that and kind of, um, you know, putting little snippets of that in with the concert. So putting, you know, Circle of Life. But I wonder if I should do that, because I feel like the ideas of that are a little bit more Libran. Um, But definitely, uh, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, you know that song? In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, this Leo season is a thriving time for anybody, you know, that has it in the sun, moon, ascendant, you know, um, or dominant sign, um, you know, that they can, you know, really relate to what we're going to be getting into and the, you know, attention getting out into the world, and I know that you can you know, probably relate to that a lot because you have the moon, just like I will be uh, taking full charge when it comes time for leave with season, um, you know, coming up um, mid to late September. Um, you know, because that is my opposite complementary sign, and that's in my moon. I was born during the full moon. Um, so, uh, Leo Consta will also be looking at cosmic sounds, um, because, um, I really did not play the video for 